Exactly. Do you have the list I asked for? Yes, General. These are the units loyal to the Queen. Hmm. Then they're the ones we'll be sending. It's a shame. There's some fine officers here. Don't we need the Queen's approval to declare war? Our very next stop, Cutter. General, we've been at peace with that colony for years. Why would they attack us? They want our land. They're desperate for more foraging territory. Perhaps they think we've grown soft or weak. Why don't we dispatch an ambassador? Negotiate a new treaty. Certainly we don't need to send soldiers. Believe me, every ant in this colony is so precious to me. Uh, that's why we must strike now. We have the element of surprise. If the termite shock troops enter our colony, well... Yes, General. I know what they can do to us. Very well. You've made a wise decision. In fact, you've ensured the future of this colony. Hello, General. Princess Bala. Oh, what a nice surprise. You look lovelier each time I see you. Thanks. I hope you're not just here on business. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course not. Because um, it might be nice if we had a conversation. Once before we get married? You're absolutely right. Cutter, uh, schedule some private time for me and Princess Bala. Uh, in fact, sir, there is time right now for a personal moment. We're a few seconds ahead of schedule. Excellent. Ooh. Princess? <laughs> well, a few seconds isn't much, but I guess if it's quality time. So, how was your day? Anything interesting happen? We declared war. Declared war? Boy, talk about a rough day. Sir, I hate to interrupt, but time stands still for no end. Princess. Mom, could you remind me? Why am I marrying this guy? Vala, do we have to argue about this again? We don't seem to have anything in common. The guy's a stiff. Yes, darling, I know the general may be a little gruff and... Somewhat overbearing at times, but I know that he cares about you. He's just not particularly good at showing it. But you should have seen how persistently he asked for your hand in marriage. But why me? Because you're the one who has to continue my work. It's your place, dear. What if I don't like my place? Everyone has their place, Bala. You, the soldiers, the workers. Now, it's not all that bad being princess, is it? Would you prefer to be carting around dirt all day? Oh, Mother, don't be so dramatic. At least they seem to have some fun every now and then. Do it, dears. Why'd I have to be born a worker? You soldiers get all the glory. Plus, you get to go out in the world. You know, you meet interesting insects, you get to kill them. Yeah, but you get to spend all day with those beautiful worker girls. Weaver, they're career girls. They're obsessed with digging. I really don't think I'm ever gonna meet the right girl for me. Who said there was a girl for you? I was talking about a girl for me. <laughs> don't you want your aphid beer? Call me crazy, but I have a thing about drinking from the anus of another creature, okay? Suit yourself. <sighs> me, I'm cutting loose. We got royal inspection coming up. Inspection? Meaning you're gonna stand around like an idiot while a bunch of blue blood smirk at you. I don't know how you put up with it, Weaver. Z, I've known you for a long time, right? Yeah, definitely. You're going two seconds after me. Yeah, and ever since we were little, I've been listening to you complain. What are you bitching about? In case you haven't noticed, we ants are running the show. We're the lords of the earth. Hey, don't talk to me about earth, okay? Because I just spent all day hauling it around. <sighs> There's just gotta be a better place. There it is. I've been there. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, were you talking to me? There is a better place. Insectopia. Oh, really? Lunatic at three o'clock. You can't understand it till you go there and see it for yourself. You can be your own ant there. The streets are paved with food. Nobody telling you what to do. No wars. No colony. 
I should have never left. <laughs> oh, yeah, fascinating. We were on a long-range recon. I got cut off from my unit. Nothing like a little post-traumatic stress disorder to make your day complete. Then I saw it. Insectopia. You head towards the monolith. Ten clicks past the Great Canyons to the land of red and white. Gramps. You've had enough for one night. Come on, before you get in trouble. Head for the monolith. Listen to me. The monolith. <laughs> Guy's got a screw loose. Cross the lane. Insectopia. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if it were that easy? <laughs> yeah. Dream on, Z. Look for the land of red and white. 